Centrifuge Operation. In this section, we will examine centrifuge operations. A safety note. Make sure to plug in the centrifuge before turning on the power pack. To operate the centrifuge, first remove the rotor cover. When taking AccuTubes in or out, the rotor cover should be placed inside the centrifuge lid. This will remind you to always replace the rotor cover before spinning samples. Once a sample is loaded into the AccuTube, place the tube in one of the numbered slots. The rotor is numbered to assist with balancing the tubes. Always remember to place tubes opposite each other on the rotor. If there is an odd number of tubes, an empty AccuTube must be used to balance the centrifuge. Once the AccuTubes are loaded, replace the rotor cover. The rotor cover must be tightened carefully. If it is not secure, the AccuTubes could break. If tightened too much, the rotor cover could strip. Use approximately six turns for an appropriate fit. Close the lid of the centrifuge. The on-off button is used to start the spin. This button is also used to abort a spin if, for instance, the rotor cover is not secured properly. The centrifuge will operate at 12,000 revolutions per minute, or RPMs, for five minutes. Regulations require that the RPMs and timer be checked every six months. Checking the timer is as simple as running the centrifuge and comparing it with an external timer for the full five minutes. When the spin is complete, the lid will automatically open. The AccuTube should be removed immediately and placed upright in the workstation until they are to be tested in the auto reader. Storing the AccuTubes in this upright position prevents the cell layers from mixing together. For accurate results, tests must be run within four hours of the centrifuge spin.